Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. So, hi, Divya, you have joined for the first time. Hi, Indrajit. Yes. So, yes. Am I audible to both of you? Yes. Completely loud and clear? Yes. Great. So, you both are also loud and clear to me. Okay, so Divya, can you please give a little introduction of yours? Because Indrajit and um, like I already, uh, Indrajit had already introduced himself. So, I believe it is first class for you. So, if you can just provide a little, uh, little introduction of yours. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Divya and I'm basically from uh, Mangalore. Now got settled in Bangalore and uh, I'm an aeronautical engineering engineer and I have a uh, roughly eight years of experience. Currently, I'm working in uh, Magellan Aerospace as an estimation engineer. Oh, great. So we have an aer aeronautical engineer with us. Yeah. What do you do in aeronautics? Like what kind of thing you uh, do? What basically your work profile? Okay. Uh, currently, I'm an estimation uh, engineer. What we do is uh, my company makes a part for uh, aircraft, structural part like wing area and all. So we receive a RFQ purchase request for that. To do that component, what is the cost that I'm running? Okay, that's, that sounds really interesting, I believe. Anyway, so what is your purpose of joining the course? Like, what are your expectations? What do you, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, uh, commonly, if I'm talking with my friends and all, I'm a little bit comfortable. Like, to the known person, I speak very well. And if it is to the stranger or in professional forum, I a bit hesitate. My confidence level will go down. And also in uh, uh, verbal, like, drafting emails and okay. yes yes i find very difficulty and i do that minor mistakes while speaking like gram grammatically also and um, i'm not able to express my ideas like very quickly i'm not able to uh, construct the uh, what is the sentences structuring of sentences structuring yes yes so basically it is with the spoken english or with the written part as well uh, written part as well Okay, great. Thanks. So in this particular uh, module, we'll be discussing about the tenses, right? As you all know that we have three particular tenses with us, past, present, and future. Past is something where we talk about uh, the things which had already happened. Present is we uh, right now what we are doing and future is uh, what we will be doing or what we are expected or what, what is supposed to be done, right? So this is past, present, and future. Now, when we are talking about past, present, and future, we'll talk, we, we are talking about tenses. What basically, why do we use tenses, right? So tenses we use because we want uh, to, des uh, like to uh, uh, segregate some of the things. If we want to segregate the things, we won't get to know that when, the, when, what, when what particular thing is happening, right? So just to segregate the things in the particular time period, we use tenses, right? So tenses we use, uh, okay, uh, before tenses, I want, I think with Indrajit, we have already discussed about the active and non-active sentences. So Divya, do you know what are the active and non-active sentences? Uh, which contains action, yeah. uh, we say active and uh, without action is uh, non-active. Correct, correct. Yeah. So the uh, sentences which have actions, which, which has some, which talks about some actions which is being done. Those are active sentences. Otherwise, or uh, some uh, otherwise, the um, sentences are non-active, right? Can you provide me some of the examples? Uh, I go to office is active sentence. Uh, non-active. She's beautiful. Yeah, or the office is far away. Yeah. Okay. Right, because yeah. you have to um, connect the sentences as well, no? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, so these two sentences are not connecting um, otherwise. Correct, correct. Like I go to office and uh, she's a beautiful girl. Mm. Instead, if you will frame, I'll go, uh, I go to office in the evening mm. or I go to office at 8 in the morning, my office is far away. Far away, so yes. That's another one is non active Yeah. Okay. Right. So this way, if you, uh, like, try, both of you try to frame a paragraph of five sentences, not more than five sentences, just five sentences. There you will be um, using both active and non-active sentences. However, those uh, sentences should be a little relevant to each other. Okay, interconnected, huh? Yeah, it should be connected. It should be relevant. Okay. 
Uh, Indrajit, is it clear to you? Yeah, it is clear. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Done, both of you? Yes. When I go to garden in the morning, so there is a uh, there I found the beauty very colorful bird. Can you repeat your sentence? It is not clear. When I go to garden in the morning, okay. There I found uh, very colorful bird. Okay. Is it correct? Correct. However, you can uh, replace your go to with visit. Go to visit. Yeah. And I visit the garden in the morning. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, and again, try to have a uniform tense. Like when I visit the garden in the morning, it is, it is a present tense. Mm. And I found a colorful word, word, it is a past tense. So try to have a uniform tense. Either use present or use past. Okay, I find. Do not, mix, do not mix two sentences. Yeah, yeah, correct. I agree. I go to office with my new blue car. But these are not relevant, no? How okay. it is related to your previous sentence? It is not connecting, basically. Yeah, it is not connecting. So it can be in a way, like in the morning, uh, my daily routine, uh, my daily routine includes going to a garden in the morning where I find lots of beautiful birds of different colors, right? Mm -hmm. Come uh, After coming from the uh, garden, I reach my office or I head to, uh, I head for my office at 8 in the morning or at 8 a.m. Okay, understood. So I have to frame the sentence in a such a way that all are interconnected with the, yeah, the previous yeah, one. Okay, okay. Yeah, it should be in a sync. It should be in a sync in the in all five sentences, correct? Yeah. So yes. It will be a little uh, paragraph basically or a little exactly. story. Yeah? yeah. Okay, I understood. Yeah, this kind of story, yes. I prepared uh, in a different way basically because yeah, I didn't even I uh, followed the yeah? same. I didn't understand the theme basically logic and you also did the same right yes okay like you... uh, interconnected with the first and second sentences but not the like all five sentences so i uh, i wanted you to frame a little a paragraph oh, got it okay relevant, right it's okay yeah. so you have got a little idea right how how you are to uh frame it how you are to structure it yes. i have given you a little um sample correct yes okay now you understood. Okay, now when you will be framing a paragraph, like when you will be framing something or when you will be writing something, uh, try to have a uniform tense. Like I was using the present tense only, so try to maintain the present tense, right? So if you will be using past, try to have the past only. Okay. Like I visited the garden in the morning today and I found um, several beautiful, colorful uh, birds. Right. Mm -hmm. Coming back to, uh, or when I came back home, I was getting late for my office and I rushed for my office quickly. Right. Okay. So this way. So try to have a uniform tense. Either it is a present or it is a past or it is a future. If you are expecting something or you are you are supposedly do, to do something. So we are dreaming then we can use the future. Got it? Okay, so this you know that how you are to frame uh, present, past, and future. Right, now uh, this is the type of sentences we have in the present. They are simple present, simple past, simple future. Present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. Present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect. And so on. Perfect continuous, perfect continuous, and perfect continuous. Right? So what is simple? Simple is used for the general things. Right, I visited. That's it. I visit, which is a habit, which is a present. Uh, most of the time, simple present is the general habits. Okay, in the next slide, I'll tell you. Right, you can you see this? A simple present is always a habit, a mm -hmm. fact, an opinion. Like, I believe that it should be done in this way. Right, or, um, or what you can say, uh, the, um, 
the people perceive the people perceive that um the uh, today's generation is smarter than the previous one right so it is a general opinion that is the reason i have used simple present which has only one like which has the basic verb the basic form of the verb right like the perceive perceive is to think right and then a schedule which is your daily routine i go to office right i visit the park i um eat uh, or i have my breakfast at this time right this is a general routine which which happens on every day right that is the reason we can use simple present tense for this uh, for mentioning a schedule as well and then is a regular action regular action is the sun rises in the east it's a regular action it is something which is happening on the daily basis mm. right water flows from up uh, uh, just a second please okay uh regular action is something which is uh, which is regular like which is um which cannot be changed right which is happening on the daily basis like water flows from up to down or uh, water flows in the river like this way this is something which is regular right okay uh now this is the examples the sun sets in the west hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table now this is a non active sentence rome is the capital of italy this is a non active sentence mira is a good actress it is a non active sentence now this is the picture this is the uh, tense start of past simple past and the past continuous past perfect and the past perfect continuous right now what is continuous continuous is some Uh, moving, which is going with some some process, which is uh, carry on. Yeah, which is um, which is in motion for now, which is happening for now, right? <clears throat> Perfect is something which has happened few minutes ago, and perfect continuous is which has started earlier and still going on. <laughs> But it so these yes. are the four different types of the tenses we have in the past, present, and future. and this is the table this is the uh, rule chart of what uh, like what verb you are to use um what is the subject how you are to pick out uh, how you are to choose the object and all now these are the base verbs past form of the verb and the past participle past participle is basically a verb third form of the verb right now here the very interesting thing which you need to understand is Verb, uh, the, the that is the past form of the verb that is used only with the simple past. That is used only with the simple past, and that is also with the affirmative sentences. Now, what is affirmative sentences? Which says yes. Okay. So, verb, uh, past form of the verb is only used with the past simple past, and that too is affirmative. Affirmative is like um, it says yes. where there is no uh, where where there is uh, um like the sentence is without not i give you an example here i visited the park yesterday right i did not visit the park yesterday now in these two sentences the two sentences example i have given you i visited the park and i did not visit the park in the second sentence both the sentences are simple past however in the second sentence i have used base form of the word why because there i have used did not did. right that is the reason um i have used base form of the word so uh, the uh, past form of the verb is only used with the simple past and that too is the affirmative sentences got it indrajit you yes, uh, yes, is it comprehensible yeah yeah indrajit fine yes fine i can move forward now yeah yes, sure Great. Yeah. So, um, with the has, have, or had, we always use past participle form of the verb. Okay. And also, we use past participle with uh, helping verbs. However, that is a different scenario because uh, that kind of sentences are different. You must have been heard about active passive, right? So, those are passive sentences. So, we'll be discussing those sentences later. Okay. For now, we'll be discussing only about the active sentences. right okay. and we'll be discussing only about the um, simple like simple structuring of the sentence okay will you tell here everything is clear yes if there is something which is not clear you can ask yeah, it is clear clear 
great now if you uh, if you are like if you are able to notice in these two uh, examples which is given in the box uh, like is my cursor uh, is visible yes is yes okay so you must have observed that it have and had they had used the past participle form of the word mm -hmm. right great now it is the future tense now in the future throughout we are using the first form of the verb with the will or shall now um otherwise we have this rule of using shall with the first person wait okay. uh, one second in the previous slide they have used have and had for i only i had both uh, yeah. i have worked and i had worked yeah. so when to use have and had okay so have is for the present tense have have and has is for the present tense however had is for the past okay. now uh, that okay i will go to a uh, previous slide just a second i will uh if you can see this past perfect tense mm -hmm. right here it is written subject plus had mm -hmm. plus the third form of the verb that, that is the past participle of the main verb correct yeah, yeah. Huh, got it then the rest of the sentence okay, okay. now here because it is past that is the reason we have written here had, had. and for the entire uh, past we will use had okay. however if it is present we won't use had we will use either have yeah. or has understood right now have we will use for the uh, first person and second person now what is what are the first person and second person first person is i, I we, we and second, second person is you you correct and all for and with all the plurals oh. right so with all the plurals i we and you we will use have otherwise for any third person if it is let's say he she it right we will use has or any singular okay now there is a little question i want to ask what you will use for they if they is there and you are to uh, frame a sentence in the present tense what you will use with they they have 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 because they is a they is plural. a third person plural yeah. yes because they is a plural more than however one. in spite of the fact that they is a third person it is a plural that is the reason we have used have with they okay. Okay? sometimes they use uh, as have what is it has have sorry together yeah together like no, uh, together i have together. had uh, this thing or something i have say, listen many people okay. they used so both so that in that case have is not uh, uh, have is not a helping verb that is that means having something to eat okay. something okay having okay yeah i had have or i have uh, had my food yesterday yeah. or a uh, few minutes before like this got it so here have means to eat something how to consume something got it any doubts but in that okay. example it was given i have worked and i had asked yes it is not present no, uh, no. one is present and another one is past i have worked all day yeah it is a uh, it is a present perfect and oh, i had asked perfect. my friend it is a past perfect okay, okay. got it However, both are the examples of perfect tense. Got it? Yes. Now we'll come to sentence structuring. Uh, are you aware of the parts of speech? Yes. There are eight parts of the speeches. We have eight parts of speech: noun, pronoun, right? Yeah. Verb. Adjectives, adverbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, conjunctions, and last one is uh, exclamatory. Um, Adjective. Where we use the ex, we where we use the exclamatory, like uh, how to say nouns, pronouns, adjectives, right? Verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and one more word is there so where we can show the sorrow happiness in life yes um, that is called uh, that is called 
for which we use exclamation mark exclamation yes yeah. right that is interjection yeah interjection correct got it that is interjection so, so first noun for... pronoun verb adjective adverb uh, conjunction and interjection prepositions preposition and interjection so, so this right. is it now coming to the nouns first we use noun right uh, with any noun or a verb we can structure a sentence let's say um divya attended it's a sentence in itself divya yeah. ate it's a sentence in itself right now divya ate the food now it is a complete sentence however the main part is divya ate right divya eats or divya ate it is the main part of the sentence so it will be the main clause got it okay so any part of the sentence which needs or which is independent which doesn't need anything else to complete itself that is the main clause however the other part of the sentence is the subordinate clause got it now with the nouns and pronouns we have adjectives and with the verbs we have adverbs now what are the adjectives adjectives are the determining words right describing words what are the adjectives adjectives are the describing, describing. words and uh, who uh, like whom these uh, these words describe nouns so what whatever word you get in a sentence which describes a noun yeah. that is an adjective adjective tell something about the nouns sorry so adjective tells something about the noun yes adjective tells something about the noun noun so uh, she strong uh, she is beautiful girl so beautiful is a adjective, adjective so she's right she's telling about so she, she yeah she visited a uh, she visited a beautiful garden so yeah. beautiful is an adjective and garden is a noun now she hurriedly uh, came or she she uh, rushed back home now hurriedly is what hurriedly is telling or hurriedly is explaining about the action hurriedly is uh, hurried, sorry hurriedly describing about the action how action is being taken yes right um often he goes to park now here often tells what often tells about action like how um like how the action is happening so often act, like often goes to park he often goes to park got it so this in this sentence often is an adjective or adverb 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 got it so any of the word which describes a verb that is an adverb and any of these uh, word which describes any noun or pronoun that is the adjective adjective got it now comes the position words that is the preposition any word in the sentence which tells about the position of any noun it can tells about it can tell about position of any noun on the floor under the uh, table below the uh, below the belt above the ground inside the drawer so any of these uh, word which tells about the position right which talks about the position of the noun that's a preposition okay Now six things are clear. Yes. Okay. Again, I think there is a problem. Again, yeah, it's got disconnected. Yes, the way I understood, any doubt with these th uh, these six? No. No, I haven't. Uh... No doubt. No doubt. Yes. Uh, can I move forward? Yes. Okay. Now comes. interjection okay any of the word which we use to uh, showcase our expression okay to tell uh, to tell lot about our our expression what kind of emotion we are having what kind of expression we want to show that is an interjection is it fine now oh, okay now let's do it yeah now conjunctions are the connectors connectors which connect two sentences the simple two sentences which are connected through any word those are called connectors like and but 
uh, however although in spite of right so these are the connectors okay any doubt no clear so we have covered eight, eight parts of the speech. speech if there is any doubt with any of the part you can ask one one of them then there was uh, some exclamation part that was the last one that is the interjection interjection, interjection. okay i'll give you some examples here okay. um if i'll say aha i am very happy today alas it was a sad news right oh. so in both these two sentences what is being expressed i'm uh, like you can understand what kind of emotions i'm feeling right you can understand what kind of expression i want to uh, convey right so whenever in any of the sentence you get to know about the expression of the uh, person expression mm -hmm. of the uh, speaker that part is called interjection got it any other yes. doubt any other doubt no clear no doubt it is clear i was on the main clause and subordinate clause now you get to know what is main clause and what is subordinate clause yes so independent clause that is the main clause can stand alone as a sentence can be joined to another clause what is an example fred filled a cardboard tube with gunpowder right because he wanted to make his own firecracker now what is because here it is a conjunction this is one complete sentence fred which uh, this uh, the sentence which is marked in blue that is one complete sentence fred filled a cardboard tube with gunpowder because he wanted to make his own firecracker right now uh, what, now the uh, the reason of this the reason of the main clause is given here this is the reason of the main clause got it and yeah. because is what because is the connector Connect. conjunction it is it is connecting these two sentences got it yes now we have uh, four different types of sentences first is independent simple one independent clause so if you um, if if we'll write this only one sentence like fred filled a cardboard tube with gunpowder it is a complete sentence next is two or more independent clauses which is called compound sentence now here two independent clauses are used for now example the example is um the, okay in this one this uh, previous one this can be independent independent right yeah. now here i will say fred filled a cardboard tube with gunpowder right mm -hmm. and uh, instead of this sentence i will write um and he fired that uh, uh, and he fired that tube or uh, uh, and he used that tube to fire right now he used that tube to fire that in itself is a independent clause because it needs nothing to uh, be verified right it uh, like the fred filled a cardboard tube with gunpowder and it used the gunpowder oh, sorry he used the uh, he used the tube to fire what it next so, and is, again we are using no it's a conjunction yeah. so and it becomes subordinate na, the second sentence no it is not always that uh, after a connector you will get a subordinate clause you need to understand that what is a subordinate what is a main clause whatever sentence is independent that is a main clause okay so compound sentences where two main clauses are connected suppose okay. suppose raman is a very hard worker that's why he cracked the upsc examination he cracks he cracks he, cracks. he was able to crack the upsc examination in the first two first attempt so basically this is the example for compound sentences compound sentences yeah okay next is complex in the complex you have one compound and one subordinate or you can have both subordinate okay so can you give uh, one example for complex one so sure. here it is you will get the examples in the following slides don't okay. worry okay and next is the compound complex where two or more independent clauses connect are connected with the one subordinate 
Okay, now here are these uh, examples. Simple sentences are pretty simple. Just a single independent clause, no more, uh, yes. no less. This includes subject verbs, but can also include objects. Like life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. Real glory springs from the uh, silent conquest of ourselves. Understood? Is it comprehensible, the example? The second one is yes. not clear. Okay, real glory springs from the silence uh, of ourselves. Silent conquest of ourselves. What is the silent conquest? The a fight we have within us. Okay. Right? Springs is blooming. So real glory blooms when we win the uh, silent fight we are uh, fighting in ourselves. Okay. Got it? Now, these are the examples of compound sentences. It may seem difficult at first, but everything is difficult at first. Okay. So, everything is difficult at first and it may seem difficult at first. These are the two independent clauses. Correct. Got it? Yeah. Now, until the line learns to write, every story will glorify the hunter. Now, these are some of the examples of complex sentences. A complex sentences use one independent clause with any number of subordinate clauses, while compound sentences use coordinating uh, conjunctions to join the clauses together. Complex sentences use subordinate conjunctions explained earlier. Got it? Mm -hmm. But uh, the first example, sorry, previous slide. Yeah. Uh, every story will glorify the hunter. It is also looks like independent sentence only. No? Yeah, but until the lion learns to write. It is not an independent sentence, no? Okay. Uh, the position of the we can interchange. Yeah, okay. Can interchange. okay. This is not the independent clause, no? Correct. Until correct. the line Complex learns to sentences. Write. Yes. Right? Correct. This is not yeah. the independent clause. This is a dependent clause. Okay. The uh, the later one the later one is the independent. However, the previous one is not. Is the subordinate? Got it? Yeah. Again, clause. these are the examples of compound complex sentences. Got it? Now this will cover in the next class. Um, yeah, this will cover in the next class. The preposition errors. Got it? Okay. Right? I believe with this preposition, um, uh, this error, you will get to know a lot. And most of your grammatical errors yes. will uh, improve. You will, you will be able to improve most of your grammatical errors. Okay? And this needs a lot of practice also. So please uh, keep on doing that. Mm -hmm. Right? So uh, for today, this much is enough. If you are still have any doubt, you can share anything you want to share, any idea, any doubt, please. You are welcome to share your ideas and doubts. Uh, so if I asked you to introduce yourself, how you will do it so that I can learn from you, so if you don't okay. mind. Start with your name, then is your region, right? Then is your status, like what you do for now, mm. right? Then is your um, skills. Mention okay. about your skills, right? And then is your um, the experience you are having, okay? Right? Uh, then is your educational qualification, okay. achievements, okay? Right? And how you spend your uh, free time, your spare time, okay? Okay. Right? Your hobbies. Hobbies. Yeah. That's it. That's it.